Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of WP, the podcast. I'm David Blackman. And I'm Tim Streifler. Today in episode 685, we're going to talk about how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress website. Yesterday, we talked about submitting a sitemap to, to get Google to index your site. Once that site's indexed and you start to get traffic coming to it, you're going to want to know, hey, where are they coming from? What are they interested in? Which is going to allow you to build more content to cater towards your audience and stuff. Google Analytics is a an amazing tool um, that you can get. It, it is so much, it's so powerful and has so much information. I do not know how to completely use it. I basically use it for what I think I want to use it for. And then I don't even bite off all the other stuff that, that there is to bite off in that, that program, but it's insanely powerful for your website. So today we're going to teach you how to get Google An analytics on your WordPress website. Tim. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, there's essentially two routes that we're going to cover. One is using a plugin and then one is not using a plugin. And um, there's not necessarily a wrong answer. And we'll, I'll explain after we talk about them which version I use in, in which scenarios, because I, I use both. But um, for the non-plugin route, it's super easy. Google Analytics is going to spit out a snippet. It's a JavaScript snippet that you add to the header of your site, header.php file. Um, and so if you are using kind of a, uh, a child theme and you have a header.php file, you can drop it in there. Or what's even easier is most modern themes have a place for you to drop code in the header of your site. And so, uh, for example, we use Divi. We talk about Divi a lot. Divi theme options and the integrations tab has a box for header. And you can drop code snippets in there, such as Google Analytics. You can drop that in your header. And then it automatically it adds it to the header of the, the page. So the code is run on every web, web page of your site. So super easy. You don't need to install any plugins. You can just do that. Um, and then Dave's going to talk about the next option, the plugin route, and then what we can discuss kind of when is a good time to use which option. Yeah. So one of the plugins that you can use uh, is Monster Insights, and it is a very powerful tool as well. Tim, do they have a free version? I'm not sure if Monster Insights has a free version they, or not. They do. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And it's a freemium model. So they, yeah. They, yeah. Yeah. So they, they're, they are an analytics it's an analytics plugin for your website. So I, let's preface this by saying you do not need to have Monster Insights to get Google Analytics on your site. Uh, Google Analytics is insanely powerful and will give you all of the data that you can get in the Monster Insights. It's, um, Monster Insights just has um, a dashboard and some, some custom ability inside the site that's going to allow you to do that. And you're just simply going to install the site, install Monster Insights on your website, and then um, connect it to your Google Analytics, right? Yep, exactly. And so um, I, I mentioned there's like, there's not necessarily a wrong answer, but in my opinion, there's times where going the plugin route is better. I would say for most non-e-commerce websites, don't add a plugin, don't add a monster insights, just add the snippet to your analytics. Now, where I think it's a good idea to use a plugin such as monster insights is when you do have an e-commerce site, because Google analytics has the ability to measure, uh, all your e-commerce reporting aspects. And so then you can, you can basically see in Google analytics. Okay. Well, where are my most profitable countries? If you have an international e-commerce site, okay, I can see that, oh, the United States, I'm getting most of my, my sales from and stuff like that. And so Monster Insights has integrations with both WooCommerce and Easy Digital Downloads, two of the most popular e-commerce platforms for WordPress, in order to automatically integrate your e-commerce data into Google Analytics. And so you can do it, without using a plugin, but it adds, you have to customize. You have to basically tell Google analytics what data is what. And right. so it's a lot easier to just use a plugin such as monster insights. And so that's what I recommend doing is if the site's e-commerce use monster insights or, or an equivalent 
plugin so you don't have to customize the snippet code and do all this uh, complicated stuff. But if it's not e-commerce, just add a snippet to your header.php file or your theme header box and then just be done with it. It's super simple. Awesome. Tomorrow, we've got another great topic, how to add Facebook Pixel to your WordPress website. If you're wondering what the hell a Facebook Pixel is, come on over and listen to tomorrow and we're going to let you know. Tim, until tomorrow, we'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.